Welcome back to my shop. I'm Andreas. If it's your first time here and you like what you just saw, maybe you want to subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot to me and you won't miss any future videos. I usually post one every second Sunday morning European time. The subscribe button is just here in the corner, so if you want to hit that, I'd really appreciate that. Now, about this build. I made up my mind for quite a long time about how to store my clamps because obviously there are different options out there. And when I did my research for this, um, basically it seemed to me that there are three main types of clamp storage. One is that people have an individual slot for each clamp. The second is that people have grouped racks as I would call them. And the third is that they use horizontal bars where they put in the clamps like this. And then for each of these versions, there are wall mounted solutions and mobile solutions. So I have a link to all of, to a build video for each of these types in the description below. So if you want to check that out, maybe you find something that inspires you for your, for your own clamp storage. Now, when I turn to my card, basically I first wanted to do a wall mounted solution, but then I realized that I have a fair amount of shop floor space so a mobile solution could be better. And the walls are yet in a very dynamic state, I'd say. So I'm not sure yet where I'm going to put a second workbench or where I'm going to put a cabinet or something. So a mobile solution seemed to be the better option at the moment. And I didn't like the, the horizontal bar solution because that doesn't look so tidy. And the individual slot solution seems a bit too inflexible to me. I really like to shift things around and I'm, I'll probably get some other clamps in the future and so on. So the individual slots, they look perfect. I really uh, adore those clamp racks with those individual slots where all the clamps are really neatly stacked up but it seemed too inflexible. So I went for the, the middle solution, I'd say, and that's the grouped racks. So you have a rack or, or two, two pieces here, and you put in the clamps like this. And then I realized that I had a couple of French cleats still lying around from my tool wall build, and they are very cheap. I made them out of spruce boards, so they cost nearly nothing. And so I realized, well, I could do the cart, the mobile cart solution with the group drags and make them French cleats so they are actually flexible on the cart. And I can shift them around as I get new clamps or as I come up with a better or um, a better storage solution in the, in the cart is, itself and so on. So this is what I came up with. So basically I have a cart um, with mobile racks like this and all of these are fr French cleats. And if it turns out that at some point I want my clamps on the wall or I want some clamps on the wall over the workbench, then I can just take them and put them up on the French cleats that I already had. So that seemed to be the most flexible solution for me at the moment and that's what I went for. I realized then that um, when I have a cart I have to make sure that things don't shift around when you move it. So I have these racks at a 10 degree angle so that the clamps shift to the back and don't fall out when you move it. And for the larger clamps here, I also um, made the, the support on which they stand at a 9 degree angle in this case, but it could have been 10 degrees as well, so that they too tend to fall to the back and don't fall out when you move the card. So one thing that you probably realized is that I made this using pocket holes and that's because a couple of weeks ago Craig um, contacted me and asked me if I wanted to try out some of their products and I hadn't used any of that before and I hadn't used pocket holes before so of course I was interested in trying that out and they sent me a couple of things and this was the first project ever that I made using pocket holes and I was really very content with this technique. Um, it was a very quick solution to um, screw these um, side pieces to, to the center piece here and the whole thing to the, the base of the cart. And it, it was a very convenient solution. I'm, I'm very happy with it. Thanks to Craig for all those uh, materials and all that support. I'm really appreciating that. Um, one thing, of course, is that you now see these pocket holes. Um, 
um, which is okay for a shop project. Um, and I'm aware that you have these plugs that you can glue in, but I'm probably not going to use these plugs because in a um, clamp cart for the shop, I don't mind the holes being visible. All in all, I'm very pleased to have a good and flexible clamp storage solution now because since I had taken down my um, old clamp rack for building the tool wall, my clamps had been lying all over the shop in different corners and it was a real mess. And now I'm really pleased with that. And I hope you found some, some interesting ideas in my build and in the analysis here as well. If you liked the video, I'd really appreciate if you give it a thumbs up, if you share it with your friends, if you leave me a comment, and if it's your first time here, once again, maybe you want to subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot to me. As always, I hope to see you back soon, and remember to watch, learn, and then make something.